It was supposed to be the happiest day of her life. Emma looked at herself in the mirror, resplendent in her white wedding gown. Her blonde hair was perfectly coiffed, and the veil cascaded down her back like a silvery waterfall. Emma took a deep breath to steady her nerves. In just a few minutes, she would walk down the aisle to meet her groom, Henry, at the altar. All their friends and family were gathered in the church, waiting to witness them exchange their vows. A knock on the door startled Emma out of her reverie. It was her father, looking grim. There's something I have to tell you, he said. Emma's heart dropped. Her father told her that Henry had gone missing. His best man had found a note saying that he couldn't go through with the wedding. Emma felt as though the ground had opened up beneath her. Her groom had abandoned her at the altar. She started sobbing uncontrollably into her father's arms. Unbeknownst to the distraught bride, this was all part of an elaborate plan. Henry had not left her. He had been kidnapped by a jealous ex-girlfriend seeking revenge. By the time the truth emerged, the kidnapper had fled the country with Henry trapped in her clutches. Emma's dream wedding had turned into a complete nightmare. Her groom was stolen away on the morning of their wedding. Emma refused to believe that Henry had willingly left her. She knew in her heart that something was terribly wrong. The police, however, had no leads and the case went cold. Emma spent her days sobbing in her wedding gown, now crumpled and tear-stained. Her family and friends worried she was becoming obsessed. But Emma wouldn't give up hope. After a few months of fruitless searching, Emma decided to take matters into her own hands. She began contacting Henry's friends and family, retracing their steps in the days leading up to the wedding. No one had any useful information, until she spoke to Henry's co-worker, Mark. Mark revealed that in the weeks before the wedding, Henry had seemed anxious and afraid. He had confided in Mark that his ex-girlfriend Cindy had been stalking him and threatening him. Emma gasped. It all made sense now. Cindy must have kidnapped Henry to prevent the wedding. Emma reported this lead to the police who tracked Cindy down and arrested her. They found Henry locked in Cindy's basement, disheveled and traumatized, but alive. Emma and Henry were reunited in an emotional reunion. Cindy was charged for her crimes. Emma and Henry decided to go ahead with a small, private wedding ceremony, surrounded only by their closest loved ones. They had been through so much, but their love had endured and emerged stronger. Emma walked down the aisle with tears of joy in her eyes, overjoyed that she could finally marry the man Please of her dreams. Please subscribe to my channel Lessons of Life and press the bell notification icon.